hi guys welcome to solution domain this is Vikram here today in this video we are going to use CRM rest builder for a JavaScript function under customers we have accounts entity and contacts entity uh, what is our requirement our requirement is uh, whenever we create a new record in contacts entity we will select account name in this lookup field right this lookup has relationship with accounts entity then accounts entity is our source entity and contacts entity is our target entity mm, here if, for example if i select uh, a datum corporation account name then uh, a datum corporation mobile number or contact number has to be automatically mapped to this mobile phone field when i click on this save button for example we'll see one record i have a given first name and last name and if i select a datum corporation if i click on this save button see the mobile number of a datum corporation has automatically mapped to this mobile phone field of contacts entity now let us see how to use crm rest builder in solutions you need to click on this crm rest builder you will be navigated to crm rest builder page here in endpoint you need to select web api and in action you need to select retrieve single as we are retrieving only single record if you if you want to retrieve multiple records then you need to go for retrieve multiple option and in output format you need to select xrm dot web api option and uh, next you need to select the primary entity here the primary entity is nothing but our source entity our source entity is account okay next you need to select the fields to select the fields of this primary entity we will go to accounts here uh, this is the field from where we are getting the phone number right for that we will open a level up and click on logical names you will get the schema name of this phone field uh, just note it down and then come back to rest builder here we are going to search the field using that schema name now we need to search for telephone one which is the schema name of the phone field of account entity and here it is this is the schema this, this is the schema name of main phone field of account entity i hope you understood once it is done just click on this create request and you need to copy this code i have already created a javascript function and i'm going to paste that code crm rest builder code here then here is the one more line i'm going to cut it and paste it below this line okay now our javascript code is ready go to default solution or your solution your particular solution and then choose web resources and you need to click on this new button to create a new web resource uh, here you need to give the name and type the display name and you need to give the description as well after that you need to select the type as javascript and then click on text editor here you need to copy the entire this javascript code and you need to paste it here once you paste the javascript code in this text editor click on ok button and then you need to click on save button and you need to click on publish button once it is done you need to come back to entities and then and then you need to go to your particular entity here we are selecting contact and then you need to click on forms and open the main contact form here it is open the main main form type is main and we are going to open the contact form once the main form opens 
you need to click on the properties here you need to register your javascript function for that you need to click on this add button here you need to click on this add button to add your javascript you can search by name click search and here is that javascript and you need to click on add button i already have it so i'm going to click, uh, click on cancel once you added the form libraries you need to scroll down and you need to add the event handlers uh, we are going to trigger this javascript function on save when the form is saved right for that you need to click on on save choose control as form and event as on save then you need to click on this add button then here you need to select this you need to copy the function name and you need to paste the function name here and you need to click on this pass execution context as first parameter and then you, and then you need to click on the ok button i already have this function so i'm going to cancel it here is my function and then click on ok button and here you need to click on save and then you need to click on publish once it is saved you need to click on publish button once the publishing once the publishing is completed now you need to click on this contact entity once you publish the form you need to come back to contact entity you need to click on the particular contact and you need to publish that contact uh, you need to publish that particular entity here i'm publishing contact entity once the publishing is finished open dynamic 365 home page and click on the refresh button next click on the contacts entity and click on new button to create a new record i have a given first name and last name and if i select a datum corporation if i click on the save button see the mobile number of a datum corporation has automatically mapped to this mobile phone field of contacts entity in the next video i am going to explain this javascript function code uh, that's it guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video until then be safe and take care